I just want you to know that the lady running the camera deserves a little bit of credit. She's my neighbor, Kiara. Let's give her a hand. Okay, anyway, uh, <laughs> this next song that I'm going to be... Uh, song? Eh, song, poem, I don't know what it's going to be. We'll figure that out later. Uh, this is uh, Arch... Arc or arc, arch, I don't remember which way it goes because I don't have a really good memory. That's why I write everything down on Facebook. Um, here I go. I was born and raised among supposed mountainous men. Fit then that I was raised in the shadow of God's most unforgiving span, the Wasatch. Seismic perfect storm, brewing, boiling, out of foot, construction pervading throughout town, city, or squat. And ever changing, never finding that one comfortable spot. Cradling in its bosom the greatest salt lake. Like its city sprawling out, perfectly grid shaped, concentrically spiraling, Palatian colors, puce, ochre, amaranth, gray, slate, asphalt, grime, dismay. City seeming to scream, red headed, flustered, fuck, angrily. Uh, am I good enough yet, world, huh? Am I? Revealing its flaws so easily in a breath of sentence by merely asking the question, the Wasatch, its bulwarks echoing a reply, a much quieter, much more subdued sigh. The gay, the, the gaze. Yeah, no. The days shrink and shrivel with winter, gape wide, vernal with light, blocked out for late sunrise by Bailey on the east, early ochre sunset settling on the west horizon. Reluctantly, busily, man bids, digs out his homage, using modern warfare machinery like a sponge, leeching out Mother Earth's bitter blood, returning what little he can to satisfy his guilt-stricken Numus Kalks Soma. To man, it makes sense. Carve out from the earth, refine, redefine the ore, make it to something he is unashamed of, his artwork, his lore, to pass on to generations that are surely rejected, to construct it, refund it, back to Mother Earth to reclaim her essence. To rehash to maintain, to destroy, and create. Man plays with the land, deciding a fate for it, fitting for him. He divines from the essence his endless atrocities, highways and byways, complexes, metropolises, forgetting that guilt often, that homage, that blood he spilt for his own or from foundries, that little he can return, becomes nil to nothing. Smoke belching, winds howling, earth sinking beneath him, man looks to Father Sky, Querying, puzzled, bewildered, why me again?